Yes, so, um, this is very dramatic. <laughs> this is the works of Hideshi Inos. Um, Ino is a master comic book artist, um, mangaka, as I call it in Japan. Um, he practices samurai um, arts, sword fighting, and he's he was retiring. I got this article a while ago from Days and Confused. Um, actually, this was probably the article that got me full into the workload that he this man was producing and uh, because they were going to republish this in English uh, this manga is now very hard to get uh, nowadays uh, they're ridiculously expensive so there's um, quite the appetite and demand for them um, this is hard to track down these days um, so this man talks it goes on the length of this article to talk about the um how he started doing um what what influenced him and and how he specialized on the art of doing horror uh comics in Japan and one of them is the um that how 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 he entered into that market and how he started around like doing all these comics and how well they sold and also he's um he's being a film director he's directed um b b great films or horror films and uh, it affected him um he this article goes in the length that he's reflecting that um it affected him because uh, i think even charlie sheen got involved in saying that he saw this um v vhs uh film at and he thought that it was like a snuff movie because they were killing someone on it and he thought it was real, so he called the F FBI, and that affected him because later on, when they track him down in Japan, um, a lot of his publishers sort of like stepped back and took away all the contract work that he had going. Um, so, yes, um, Hideshi Ino's work is a classic. Um, this is a, an iconic, an iconic. Uh, piece of art that he did of Hell Baby uh, again another hard translated version it's like very hard to track down very expensive and uh, this is from Red Snake um, I mean the, his panels if you sort of see the work that he's putting together it's amazing because it looks almost like pop art if we were to blow this at a bigger scale this would be a poster you know beautiful work beautiful work and this is some of his films i guess and um, he talks about the background that he comes from it's from the old japan the um he would go to the bathhouses with his dad they would take a bath and he would see this uh tattoo graphic of the spider on the back of his dad and that was obviously part of his heritage because his dad was like um, a yakuza, and um, and his his heritage is all from that side of like old Japan samurai people that did not go on to do legal things because of the structure, the political structure that they going on over there. But anyway, I. I'm not an expert, but um, he talks about that and how he, he obviously he talked about that on the um, this great article as well. <laughs> we'll talk about that another, another time. But anyway, he talks about how um, see, he's a highlight. He's saying he held particularly in fascin fascination for the large intricate tattoo of a spider on his father's back. And the way that it became flushed with blood as he scrubbed it, uh, if, if it was coming alive. I, I think he did an adaptation of that as in a horror story. 
but that article this this article was pretty cool because we're talking about like uh fashion magazines talking about this man and here it is and i think he's this is the time when he was retiring and um and yeah this is um this is a guy that if you ever track the um the comics this is good work this good horror work um this this is like a series of, of short stories horror stories uh beautifully beautifully rendered so if we sort of see that um what year was this 2004 so it's all rapid the graph he it's um he, in this detail here you can sort of see that he's working at a really quick pace but he's doing it all with mechanical pens and it's amazing how he, he put so much detail with it the sky that's all just being you know doing the rendering by hand very cool very clean again a lot of um coming of age stories a lot of teenage drama drama um again see the rendering there uh, not using sepia tone or doing great shading or using ink on wash he's actually just doing it with his mechanical pen he's just going to tan on the page beautiful beautifully rendered and I guess these are ghostly apparitions that are happening in the school and the girls are getting spooked out of it. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> I don't know. When it comes down to horror, horror is, to me, dark satire or some sort of, sort of level. I don't get, the, you know, the spookiness of the thing. Uh, it just makes me laugh, makes me chuckle most of the time. So, yeah, and there's another theme. There's another element, element that these men can actually juggle a horrible face with an actually very attractive looking cartoon. So, you can flex the muscle of doing character designs at a different level, going from a very attractive, you know, idolized cartoon girl to a horrific, what do you call it, ghoulish monster and also doing the borderline of cartoon or caricature there he's doing real cartoon in there like the, the faces <laughs> the principle i mean <laughs> i feel in my lifetime i've seen people like this i want another point but um very organically like he looks like he's not really spend it too too long i mean his craftsmanship is so so clean and so good but he's just going to town and just unpacking this he's just dismantling the story as he goes through it so this is a cautionary tale to smokers i guess um people who smoke beware of what might happen <laughs> on the horror story <laughs> Um, beautiful. Look at these rendering, this, the rendering that this man does. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know these ghouls taking revenge on all these girls. I don't know why. I can't remember the story. I put this quite a while ago and I haven't read it since, since I purchased this. The pages have really lasted, um... I think I was talking about another manga just recently, like maybe it might have been Gantz and it's just the pages have yellow up, they're all yellow and this is a, around the same time, but the pages have held up, they're white still, so it's very good. So, uh, this is people committed suicide, um, yeah, throwing up cigarettes, don't smoke because that might happen to you. <laughs> uh, it's all kind of revenge and petty things that happen in this story. These ghouls kind of like coming in, doing horrific things to the to the characters. But it's so well rendered. I mean, it, it makes you jealous to see this. It like fills me with envy to 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 see well well rendered ink work and on on card or paper. I, he's probably working at twice the scale to this. This is something again that I would love to see at larger dimensions if they ever manage to publish this in the West again in English, retranslate it in a bigger size page, bigger size page, 
almost magazine size. It would be wonderful to see such publications being done at that level. Um, again, the ghoul appears. This is great horror material. Just amazing. It's coming out of the cracks. He's <laughs> following the girls. And you need to just... And it was a holiday. Oh, was it? Um, beautiful. I think I've seen these before, somewhere. I mean, you, you could make you could make a print out of these and put it on the wall. You know. Yeah, the back girl smoking, talking about their boyfriends in school time. <laughs> ah. So they, 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 probably the girls that bullied the, the other girl, the, the ghoul, being reflected as monsters. <sighs> so this is what this man's good at. He's just doing this iconic sort of damsel in distress again, another school girl. The culture in Japan with school girls. He's like, just doing voodoo. These, these girls, I mean, they look so ghoulish. They look like skeletons, almost. Yeah. But how he is able to bounce from a character design like this to... Something like this. It's sort of grotesqueness. is awesome how he does that. He's able to jungle, juggle a lot. I'm gonna cut you! <laughs> This is just wonderful. I forgot how good this was. And it's really stylized as well, almost like if it was like a panel of a film. So um, it's really unpacking all this. Now that looks like a sepiton. Sepiton again. So he's mixing the media. Well, maybe he's got an assistant that helps helps him out. But I I would say that due to his age and his period of time when he entered into the comic book industry, he would do this on himself all by himself. He's a one man show. But then again, I could stand corrected. Maybe he had assistants. Oh no, dead cats! No, 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 no. This is really good. Look at that. It's beautiful. What a collection is of horror stories. Look at that panel. It's amazing. It's amazing. Just amazing the action. The knives. All the girls look like witches. The um the other students. Look at that. It's beautifully done. And it was all a nightmare. Maybe her teacher's telling her. He comes across. She probably did. I did it. I did it. I don't like you. Or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. The stars. But this is this is so so good. So good to see. Um, the, like if you're coming from like a craftsmanship, like coming in from the way that he's rendered this. This is where I'm coming from, and the panels are amazing. It's just good. You don't see people doing these techniques of, of continuously, you know, sort of like, sort of this scratchy sort of line. Beautifully done, and that's how he's achieving texture, like he's achieving mist. Really well stylized, the style uh, rendering. This one's got digital. Look at that, it's got digital uh, textures on it. Oh, even the skies, yeah, I didn't see that. Good old Photoshop. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. This amazing works. I guess he suffers from uh, being quick and having to do this in a deadline and he this the, the way that the work would suffer is that he's got the tendency to make every character have an archetype style and the main lead would look the same almost in every single appearance of the series 
Unless it's the same character, I can't remember. <laughs> it's so well done. Look at these caricature caricatures. Mechanical pen. Very skilled. You know. More ghoulish faces. So, well, ink that he achieves shadow with that. It's amazing. Something out, almost something out of the 30s, 30s cartooning. Easy to see in Sepiton, eh? It's got a splatter. It's just too perfect. Mm. Yeah, amazing works. You know, I, I, I don't know if many people know about him. I know that these comic books go for a lot of money because there's not many of them. And there's quite a large appetite for this, this artist's work, this series of uh, manga, especially in English. And they're so hard to get. That's probably what the cost of these things is just escalated. Which is crazy. God. Good expressions as well. He's, he's very expressive. He he may, he makes the expressions really well. Surprise and of questioning dialogue. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember this. This is bad. <laughs> it's so good. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a story with Caesars in one of these. Ooh, car accident. Wow, the speed. It, it almost looks like some sort of engraving, you know? Like, that's the, the, how, how he's manipulated the, the, um, the mechanical pen into sort of like an engraving sort of um, drawing. So it's quite cool. Sepitone. It's a weird one. Again, I wonder if this the majority of that is digital. <laughs> Peeking hair, right? I forgot. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> uh, the kid girl became some sort of ghoul. Okay. There he is! And he's... Combat gear with swords. I mean, I would hate to get in a fight with this man. I mean, he'd probably cut you in half. <laughs> and these are the other works. Red Snake. Yeah, 2004. It's been quite a while since I have seen these being... They, they hasn't, I don't think they've been reprinted. If they have... Please somebody tell me, because I'll, I'll give you money. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, Death Reflection, Hino Hora, number 10. Anyway, here's the man. That's the manga. That's his work. Thank you. Until next time.